I created a project for setting up my company's booth at the regional boat show. It includes a basic list of tasks and their durations. But now I need to add a contact name for each task. I need a way to add a column to my plan that contains this contact information, and then hide the column later without losing the names of the contacts. Here's how. First, I select the column to the right of where I want to insert the new column by simply clicking the name at the top of the column. Then I open the Insert menu and click Column. Now, in the Column Definition dialog box, I choose what kind of column to add. I open the Field Name list and click Contact. A field is simply another word for a column that Project uses to contain information about a task. If I want to use a column name different than Contact, I can type it in the title box. In this case, I leave this box blank and let Project use Contact as the actual name of the column. I see that Project has added the new column to the left of the one I had selected. Next, I add the contact names next to their corresponding tasks. If I need to adjust the column width so all the names will fit, all I need to do is double-click the right edge of the column title. My project is looking pretty good now, so it's time to give it to others to review. They don't need to see the contact column, but I don't want to lose this information. If I hide the column, I'll be certain that the information won't be deleted, just in case I need to view it later. First, I select the contact column. Then, I open the Edit menu and click Hide Column. The column is now hidden, and the project plan looks like it did before I added the column. If I want to see the contact information again, I can easily bring the column back. As I did earlier, I select the column to the right of the new column I want to show. Then, I open the Insert menu and click Column. Now in the Column Definition dialog box, I again open the Field Name list and click Contact. The Contact column reappears, with all the contact names intact. That's a relief. But what if I do want to permanently delete all the information in the contact column instead of just hiding it? No problem. First, I select the individual items in the column, but not the column itself. Then, I click the Cut Cell button. Now, I remove the contact column the same way I did before. I select the column, and then I open the Edit menu and click Hide Column. The column is still part of the project plan, in case I want to add it back later but the contact information has been deleted. I'll need to re-enter that information if I want to use it again. Controlling how information is displayed in a project plan is often a key factor in a project's success. Now I have a way to do this without fear of losing important information.